Hey, YouTube. I, uh, been on a little hiatus lately from, uh, YouTube and making videos and stuff. I've been, uh, doing several little projects. I've got several customers that I do basic maintenance on their homes and stuff like that. Nothing major, just, just little odd and end type jobs, but keeps them satisfied, puts a few extra dollars in my pocket, so everybody's happy. Except Uncle Sam. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this is just a quick little video. I told a few people that I was doing a little 3D model for my uh, stepdaughter. Uh, she had a project given to her by her instructors at the uh, beauty college that she goes to. Uh, Hair Academy or whatever you want to call it. And uh, she came home and she had to render a 3D model of a beauty salon. And, of course, my daughter, not knowing how to do anything like that, she uh, asked me if I could help her do it. So that's what I've been working on for the past several days, actually two weeks. And we finally finished it. And there it is. That's the front of it. And this is the top. This is the name of her her uh, salon that she's made. It's called Turning Heads. And now we'll go to the inside and see what it looks like. See, so yeah, this is a this is a vinyl brick material right here. I just cut the windows in, and, and I put some uh, hard plastic in to cover the windows and the door opening. And then you break the wall down, and there she be. Over here we have the concessions. We have a Coke machine, and we have a snack vending machine. Next to it, we have a bathroom. And over here, we've got the dryers, hair dryers. Got two of those. Got a, a three bay hair washing sink. This is the uh, checkout station. It's just an L shaped uh, with two shelves. It's got a second shelf down here where she can put little pieces or you know little uh, stock items shampoo and stuff like that display things she's got to get a cash register to sit up here and we got a uh, uh, stylist chair over here it was uh, I modeled it after the stylist chairs that she has at school she's got her three mirrors over here so that they can see a full view of themselves and over here she's got two mirrors here and she's got a workstation with a door and three drawers and a couch in the lounge area for the waiting customers and a gumball machine and then she put all her little pictures of her friends all across the top up here and then her idol, Marilyn Monroe. And the floor is two sheets of um, a felt material that we found at the craft store. It was already black and white checkered. So I laid it just like the tile down in the floor. And then I put a piece of hard plastic on top of it to, to give it that shiny effect to make it look like floor tile. Everything I carved out of uh, pieces of styrofoam that I got out of uh, like stereo boxes and stuff like that. And plus that big white, that big sheet of white right there is a, uh, is a sheet of two and a half inch thick by four foot by eight foot styrofoam used for uh, roof insulation when you're laying new hot roofs. 
or rubber roofs. And I had that out there, so I used it for several things. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the gist of it. That's the project. Everything was carved by hand and assembled with hot glue. And I printed the labels, of the, I printed the Coke machine, the front of the Coke machine, and this sticker on the side right here, printed those off the internet. And then I printed a uh, snack machine uh, photo out of the, uh, off the computer also. And just glued it to the front of those two blocks and worked out pretty good. Yes. I've still got to put a doorknob on the uh, restroom door. But it's all glued down now. Everything's there. Shake the box. And the only thing that comes off is the uh, bubblegum machine. <laughs> we have to re-glue it. Anyway, that's it. Had a few people told me that they wanted me to post this video, so that's what this is for. No biggie. Just a project that I was doing. Y'all take it easy. My workstation. Got computer there. Computer there. LCD TV there. Alrighty, we'll talk to you all later.